Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Slack with Microsoft Teams. First thing, uh, we have to create ourselves an account at slack.com if you don't have one already. And uh, let's go straight to the workspace. As you can see at our workspace, we want to go to the top uh, corner or top left corner of our page and we want to click on browse Slack. And we want to go to apps. Once we are here, we have to look for Microsoft Teams uh, like this. Microsoft Teams calls, for example, we can press add and add to Slack. And that's one way to do it. If you just want to integrate uh, Microsoft Teams as it is, uh, let's go to automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, let's go to the integrations. Now, uh, let's go to the bottom part bottom left part uh, and see all categories. Now we want to write down uh, Slack here like this and let's go for the counterpart which will be Microsoft Teams. Uh, there is a few already popular integration made for us uh, but if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for Keep scrolling down and you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath this trigger, you have to start with the Slack. On the other hand, on the opposite side, underneath the Actions, uh, you want to go with, uh, with Microsoft Teams. So let's go with Teams. Last thing we have to do, uh, click on Try it now. We get redirected and the last thing you have to do is just log in to your automate.io account and we are basically done so yeah we can also use zapier which is very similar application to automate uh, once we create uh, an account here we want to go to the top left corner and click on make a zap we can uh, name our zap but, uh, but it's not mandatory uh, let's go to the trigger the trigger as you probably thought it's on slack Choose trigger, let's go well, with the first one just to show you. Uh, Slack account, uh, the one that we created obviously. Continue, uh, is there a bot? No, continue. And now uh, we can test our trigger. On the second action bottom there, uh, we have to go with the teams. Also action event, create a channel continue and the last thing is uh, to sign in with Microsoft Teams and this integration should be should be done so that's about it thanks for watching and see you on the next video